Good day friends I am Dr Narayan Jay Shankar consultant otorhinologist and skull base surgeon practicing at Nanavati Max Super Specialty Hospital Mumbai India Today we shall discuss endoscopic medial maxillectomy for removal of an inverted papilloma As seen the CT scan shows a lesion involving the right maxillary sinus and occluding the right nasal cavity up to the cornea posteriorly A T1 axial and coronal MRI scans show an iso to hypo intense lesion involving the right maxillary sinus and nasal cavity. The T2 MRI images show the lesion to be hyper intense with a convoluted seriform pattern seen with the origin on the medial wall of the right maxillary sinus. The post contrast images reveal again an hyper intense lesion with a very prominent uh, prominent convoluted seriform pattern indicative of the lesion most likely being an inverted papilloma arising from the medial wall of the right maxillary sinus on nasal endoscopic examination one can see the right inferior turbinate the nasal septum and polyps in the right nasal cavity the polyps can be gently pushed down to look at the origin of the middle turbinate A debrider is used to shave off the polyps from the right nasal cavity. It should be noted that these polyps represent prolapsed mucosa anterior to the lesion itself and hence is not a good representative specimen for histopathology. Debridement of the polyps starts from the floor of the nose to identify the inferior meatus and the cornea and proceeds superiorly towards the middle meatus this is based on the principle that tumor can be debulb from areas where there is no tumor attachment while the area of attachment is excised with a wide margin which in this case is the medial wall of the maxilla the uncinate process is excised a complete ethmoidectomy will be performed after excision of the medial wall of the maxilla an incision is made at the anterior most end of the inferior turbinate at the piriform aperture the mucoperiosteum is then dissected off the anterolateral wall of the maxilla a burr is used to make an opening on the anterolateral wall of the maxillary sinus so as to visualize the interior of the maxillary sinus and to clearly segregate the medial wall of the maxillary sinus on either side drilling is performed at the junction of the medial wall and the floor of the maxillary sinus Similarly another cut is taken at the junction of the medial wall and the roof of the maxillary sinus that becomes the inferior orbital wall As you can see this mobilizes the medial wall of the maxillary sinus the fractured medial wall of the maxilla is gently displaced medially to try and identify the nasolacrimal duct which lies just posterior to it with liberal amount of irrigation and suction the nasolacrimal duct is identified in this medial wall the nasolacrimal duct is just coming into view and the whole length of the nasolacrimal duct can now be seen any remnant bone covering the nasolacrimal duct at its superior end that is at its junction 
with the floor of the orbit needs to be removed. So you can see the bone has been removed right up to the superior end. A sharp incision of the nasolacrimal duct is taken at the orbital floor. You can see on pressing the medial part of the eyeball, little amount of tear fluid is seen at the end of the nasolacrimal duct. The posterior end of the medial wall of the maxilla is then incised to segregate the tissues from the floor of the maxillary sinus. You can see all the tissues have been moved medially and to the left you can see the maxillary sinus. The whole of the medial wall of the maxillary sinus, the bone as well as the tumor which is attached to the medial wall is removed. Here you get a nice view of the right maxillary sinus after excision of the medial wall of the right maxilla. Although the entire medial wall of the maxilla has been excised, it is important to drill the bone widely at the resection margins to expose any tumor remnants. Any visible soft tissue in the areas is then cleared with the help of a micro debrider. This procedure is done very aggressively. So any soft tissue in the area suspected to be a tumor is widely debrided. You can see every bit of soft tissue in the area is being debrided at the floor. The bone deeper to the soft tissue is once again drilled very aggressively to achieve a wide and complete clearance especially at the areas of tumor adherence. This is one of the important steps and helps to prevent tumor recurrence. View of the right maxilla after medial maxillectomy shows a clear resection with no suspicious areas and clean drilling of the base. After completion of the ethmoidectomy, you can have a clear view of the frontal sinus, the anterior ethmoidal artery, the fovea, the orbit, the orbital floor here and the maxilla after complete surgical excision.